should we be worried, Hal, about our privacy in the context of what's happening? Because the argument on the part of governments, I imagine, would be, listen, we need to track everybody to be able to deal with this pandemic. Oh, we should, I mean, we should be worried. We should be probably a lot more worried than we actually are. And that's generally been the case with all the uh, technological interventions into tracking our everyday lives, uh, probably, you know, since 9-11, really, and the rise of ubiquitous use of cell phones and mobile devices. Uh, you know, it's, it's something that most people do not care about uh, or recognize explicitly because they just do not know what uh, what they're giving up when they click on the button. You know, you get that those uh, 50 conditions, and you know, do you want to download this app? Uh, here is you know, here's eight pages of of tiny print, and then you scroll to the bottom and you say, okay, <laughs> you know, you don't read it. You don't read the things that that, that they can do with your information. Um, and you are just in a hurry to get to the thing that, that will give you uh, the, the pleasure or uh, utility that you want. Uh, so magnify that by, um, you know, 100,000 times now uh, in terms of, you know, will you agree to this, that or the other to help keep your family safe, to help keep your uh, community safe? Uh, do you agree to these things? And of course, you're like, where do I say yes? You know, no one wants to be the one who says no, no, I don't, I don't want to help uh, keep my society and community safer, um, even though many of these things are long term going to be disastrous, and even short term probably don't have that much utility.